Hey, it's your Jelly Mama here and today I'm working with the fabulous Kiki London to show you how I created this summer look. So last week I used, I did a mani just made up of dots. This week I'm creating this mani just using dotting tools. So for the first nail I'm applying this pink polish and obviously curing in the lamp. And I'm going to be drawing out the sort of ice lolly or popsicle, however you may say it. So I'm actually just doing this with a white um, polish first, again, because I want it to pop against the pink base. So this is really, really simple. I'm kind of doing it so it's had like a little chunk taken out of it. And then filling all that in and curing it. And before I pop it in the lamp, I'm just going to add some dots that I wanted to add around the uh, ice lolly. So for the um, sort of like lollipop stick, I'm using this Beaches and Cream and just adding that to the um, base. And then I'm coming in with this bright neon yellow called Yellow Caution. And I am lit this lolly just to keep it all simple is just going to be this one colour. So I thought this, um, I thought I'd do this video because sometimes if you're starting out with nail art, brushes can take a little bit more time to get to used to than dotting tools because obviously the bristles are flimsy and they can move. Whereas obviously a, a dotting tool, it's sturdy, um, and you can actually create some really cool nail art with it. So just to make it this um, sort of ice lolly pop a little bit more, I am going around the edge of the lolly, just outlining outlining sorry what i have previously done if you want and you want the lines to be a little bit thinner then you could use like a toothpick or a cocktail sausage something like that where you know it's a little bit pointy and it's just that little bit thinner so moving on to the next nail now i have taken a lighter blue um i think this is um sea blue i think i can't remember but i will put all details of the polishes i've used in the description box below and i am basically doing like jagged lines so i'm kind of almost like tapping the dotting tool as opposed to dragging it that's a much better way to kind of get that bit of a jagged line as this is kind of going to try well i'm trying to get it to look like water in a swimming pool which we all love to be in at summertime <laughs> Then just to make certain part of it stand out, I come in with a white polish and kind of like, um, not obviously completely go over what I've done, but kind of outline the lines that I have previously done. Then I'm going to be creating a uh, sort of like a rubber ring or a donut that you would lie in on the pool. So you want to get a large dot into all and place a large dot on the nail. I actually made this a little bit bigger off camera. And then you want to add a blue, which you've used as the base. That kind of makes the hole. And then I'm adding pink. So I'm kind of marking out roughly where I want it. So basically, then I'm going to leave like a little gap so the white peeps through. And I'm going to do three blocks of pink. And I just thought this was super cool. So that is your next nail completed. I think that one's my favourite, I think. <laughs> so moving on to the next one, I am adding the blue over the yellow and kind of just bringing it down and kind of not getting it perfect but leaving like a little edge of the yellow peeping through because obviously that's meant to um, look like the sand and then I am going to be um, sort of starting out with the white again because I really want the colours to pop and I'm going to be doing like a umbrella or a parasol that you would have if you were sunbathing on the beach. And then I'm adding three different colours. Um, obviously, I am curing this. these. I'm not just putting it on every one, as it's, it can be a little bit tedious with it keep popping up. But obviously, to avoid the colours muddying all together, I do cure um, with each one. 
Then the final step is to obviously add the stick and then I kind of outline the umbrella as well and you know outline kind of each section of the colours just to make it stand out and pop that little bit more. And for the final nail, I am adding cactuses. So I've already gone ahead and cured a and did this with a white base. And then I'm filling in with the greens. To draw this, you would obviously do the straight line first and then you do the two lines coming off it. Really simple, but very creative. And then for a little bit more detail, you could add pink to kind of represent the flowers that you get on the cactuses. And that is this nail complete. So all that's left to do is to apply your top coat. Again, I am using um, a matte top coat. And this is how it all looks together. So I just thought that this was so cool. And um, I, I can't believe I created it just using dotting tools, but it was it's really simple and easy to do. And it's the perfect summer look. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. So thank you so much for watching. Please press that free subscribe button if you've not already done so. And here was last week's video that you can catch up on. Bye.